Once upon a time, in a far-off city called Birmingham, lived a little girl with a big dream. Hold on. Wait, no, stop. This won't do. I'm sure I'll come and work with me. Yeah. So my role here was healthcare assistant in Priya, which means getting patients ready for an upcoming procedure. Are you recording me? Are you recording? I always wanted to work in the hospital from when I was young. I used to go and see a family relative and when I used to see the nurses and doctors coming to her, I used to sit there and look at them and think, oh, I, just, I want to do this, I want to help people. <laughs> She's getting nervous. I went on to a Prince's Trust course, getting to NHS. It helps because I had more of an awareness of what role I was going for and what was expected of me. I've met loads of different people. I feel like it's like a little family that you get and you're a part of it. But there's Steve, who's really been there through the whole journey. I've known him for about 11 years now, from meeting him at the bus stop. Hello, yeah. I just seen you here. Yeah. I'm fine, thank you. How about yourself? Still catching the bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what was that first conversation we ever had? I was telling you I wanted to work in the hospital. That's right, yeah. yeah. Your story's just absolutely brilliant. Oh. It of like, because you never give up. And I remember them conversations being yeah, told yeah, yeah. you haven't been made successful or I've had to drop out. The bit that really strikes with me is the fact that every single time you went off and sorted the barrier Yes. And come back. And you showed me that I could do it and I got through the interview and I, and I got the job and it really did boost my confidence. How oh, wonderful a <laughs> It's such a rewarding job. For every hard day you get, you get that day when you'll have a patient that will be so low, thankful, and you'll think, oh my God, I really made a difference. I'm a single mum of four. Having my first child at 20 kind of made me think, you need to kind of get your life in order. I got told so many times, you know, you're homeschooled, you've never done your GCSEs, you're not going to amount to nothing. And it's really good to know that I've done it <laughs> and now I can progress higher. Right, are we ready, crew? We need to go. <laughs> it's like ready, steady, cook, isn't it? <laughs> I was speaking in the hospital the other day with the woman about progressing into the theatres more so that by the time I do my maths and English, I can apply for the degree. I told you all about that, isn't it? As soon as you get into that place, they're just going to keep moving. I'm just so glad you're doing your dreams, you and all that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Life comes with many obstacles and difficulties. You always stand up and continue walking. If I could give anyone any advice, don't let anybody else put you down. Go for it. I'm not where I want to be yet but I'm nearly there and I'm working towards it, which is a lot more than where I was two years ago. So that's a wrap then. I better get the director's credits for this. You've got enough. <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody. <laughs> so unexpected. <laughs>